Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan. Today I am going to talk about influenza and its treatment. Now, as we all know, there has been an increasing trend of the influenza virus across the country with a preponderance of influenza A, that is the H3N2, being detected in various labs. It is noted that young children, senior citizens, and people suffering from comorbidities are particularly at risk and vulnerable to the H3N2, adenoviruses, etc. While most of these agents cause a similar mild illness in some cases, particularly those with comorbidities, the diseases can manifest into a severe illness requiring hospitalization. Now let's understand the influenza in detail. Influenza is a contagious acute respiratory disease which is caused by the influenza A and the B virus. The symptoms actually can be divided into two categories. Firstly, the symptoms of uncomplicated influenza that include fever, cough, sore throat, rhinorrhea, headache, muscle pain, malaise, diarrhea, vomiting, especially in children but without dehydration. And secondly, symptoms of complicated influenza that affect different systems, mainly the respiratory, including or presenting as shortness of breath or pneumonia, CNS, that is encephalitis, dehydration, renal failure, multi-organ failure, septic shock. Also, there can be an exacerbation of asthma or COPD or chronic hepatic or renal failure or diabetes or even CVS condition. Now, it is very important that we differentiate between influenza and influenza-like illness. The symptoms of both slightly differ. Symptoms suggestive of influenza-like illness are cough, cold, sore throat, body ache, headache, chills and fatigue. Now, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare guidelines calls towards the use of oseltamivir for the treatment of influenza, the drug which has been approved by WHO. Oseltamivir is an antiviral and is indicated for the treatment of patients with acute influenza A and B infection as well as post-exposure prophylaxis. It helps make the symptoms such as stuffy nose, cough, sore throat, fever or chills, aches, tiredness, all these less severe and shortens the recovery time by one to two days. As per the guidelines, the treatment protocol for influenza can be divided into three categories. Category A includes individuals with mild fever, cough, throat irritation, body ache, headache, diarrhea and vomiting for which no oseltamivir is required, only symptomatic treatment with home isolation is advised. Category B includes individuals with symptoms in addition to the previously mentioned symptoms with fever greater than 38 degrees Celsius, severe sore throat and runny nose. For such patients, oseltamivir is needed. While category C includes individuals with symptoms in addition to the previously mentioned ones, along with breathlessness, chest pain, hemoptysis, hypotension, bluish discoloration of the nails, and in children including irritation and drowsiness. For such cases, oseltamivir is the drug of choice along with hospitalization. The government has allowed the sale of oseltamivir under Schedule H1 of the Drug and Cosmetic Act in February 2017 for wider accessibility and availability. The drug is available only on the prescription of a medical practitioner. That's all for today. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.